Hey guys, it's Kevin and welcome to another video where I show you a behind the scenes look of how I created this image right here. This is a picture of a glowing cross and uh, it is smashing some links in a chain here. And uh, I just want to show you how I created this image, kind of give you a behind the scenes look on my creative process. So the first thing I did was open up Photoshop and sketch out what I wanted to create. Pretty simple uh, concept. It's a cross in the middle with all of these chains uh, to the side and they are breaking apart. So I had to open up Cinema 4D, of course, and start building the chain. And so when I'm building the chain, um, you know, it's not terribly difficult. You're just going to have to use a sweep on here and uh, use a circle to sweep right around this rounded rectangle. And that's the chain link right there. But once you've created one chain link, you've done most of the work. You just need to clone it out and uh, make it go in the line that you want to. And so I was able to uh, create a, um, a little spline there. You see that little zigzag that I drew. And then I just wanted to connect that uh, those chain links onto that spline so that they would be going um, in that direction. So this is just going to be one link on the left side of the uh, the picture. So I'm going to have to duplicate this in a minute. Uh, but I, I got it the way I wanted it to look. And then um, I added some rigid body tags on it so it would fall down to the ground and look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm able to uh, make another uh, chain link on the other side. So now we have a left side and a right side. These are two cloned. Uh, two cloner, you know, layers here with that spline and those chain links. Um, and once I've got that, then I can go ahead and add my cross in there, which is very simple. It's just two rectangles, essentially two cubes that are stretched. And uh, that's going to go right in the middle of them. Now, the hard part is this part. And this is when I have to start breaking apart these chains. So I just create one link that goes right on the end of these chains. I don't want the entire chain to break. I just want that that one chain link uh, to break on each side. So I use a Verani uh, 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 break, you know, here the, to, to break everything up and uh, the fracture uh, effects going on here. And then I just play it, you know, with the animation to see how it crumbles when it falls down to the ground. It took a lot of trial and error here because I only wanted it to break on the left side of the, the link here. I didn't want it to break everywhere. So it did take a little bit of practice here um, and just, you know, figuring out what looks the best. Um, but so I spent most of the time, this is about an hour and a half in, in Cinema 4D, and I spent most of the time right here is working on these these fractures here. Um, but I, I finally got it the way I wanted it to, and uh, this was just for the right side. So, of course, I needed to do it again uh, once I was happy with this side. And then I'd have another link on the, the left side uh, that would be busting up as well. And so I wanted to add all these little particles, you know, kind of flying everywhere and make it look um, like it was a pretty violent uh, drop here and there's there's shards you know, flying through the air so I added some of those as well then I started texturing uh, the chain links um, I'm using the redshift to uh, to texture the chain links and also texture the um, the plane that is the essentially going to be the floor below all of these elements um, and then I just just so I could get an idea of how everything is coming together and then once I finished the texturing I just added uh, another chain link on the left side and just kept playing that animation over and over trying to make it look as realistic and as interesting as possible so you see all of these different uh, fractures going everywhere and uh, they're just kind of busting around and uh, it took a lot of practice a lot of uh, tries to get it to the way I want it to look I tried different colors I tried different angles I tried uh, different uh, settings on the uh, the gravity and all that stuff right there and just uh, I wanted it to get look to look as as good as as it could and so I spent a lot of time just you know trying to, to work on these these little details here but you can see I had that that uh, render um, that redshift render on that that bottom corner you see it right there where i can actually see what the uh the end result is going to look like in real time and so that's very helpful to be able to do that because uh, these renders do take a while they take about 30 to 40 minutes to render one image and uh, so if i get an, a little sneak preview of what it looks like with that render view that really uh, saves me some time um but Again, that's all it was. It was just creating two chain links on, on each side of the screen, creating that cross in the middle and adding some glow um, textures to it and some some um, ambient occlusion in there and just uh, making that glow and everything and just, you know, making that the main light source uh, of the scene. I also did add a dome light above it. And so it added a little bit of blue light to the edges here. 
um, to the edges of, of the scene. So you see right on the edge of this, uh, this picture, you see a little bit of blue tint, uh, but that red right in the middle, that all comes from that cross with the, uh, the glowing texture on it. But that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Just make some, some chain links and uh, just break one of those chain links and uh, just do it over and over and over until it looks the way you want it to. And then I brought it into Photoshop and didn't do a lot of work to it. Um, I just um, did some really simple color grades to it and some sharpening, and that was it. But guys, that's how I created this image. Again, it took about an hour and a half in Cinema 4D and maybe about 10 minutes in Photoshop. Uh, but that's how I created this image. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you again at the next video. Thanks, guys.